Hey guys, I'm Andrea Vasquez, and I am so excited to be a part of Music of the Future's Behind the EP series. Um, I recently just released my EP. It's called Love Don't Live Here. I am so proud of these four songs. Um, they're kind of about just empowerment after a breakup or heartbreak or betrayal, um, and just kind of coming out stronger on the other side of that. Um, this EP was produced by Jason Mader. He's out in LA. He is awesome and he has helped me um, find my sound throughout this EP process or recording process. And um, it was just, it's been so much fun collaborating with him in the studio. So um, the first song is called Sugar Coat It. It's a fun, sassy song. Um, I love playing this one live with my band. Um, and he actually wrote the song with me, me, him, and Brandon Rogers, who actually vocal produced the album or the EP. Um, it's kind of about when you're being played, not like played and that person thinks they have the upper hand. And when you kind of see them for how they are and you're like, nope, don't sugarcoat it. I'm out. I've got this. So that's kind of just a play, fun little play on words. And um, this one was just, I love it. I, I'm, if you kind of listen to the EP, you, you'll see that I just love like really strong drums and the big instrumentation and everything just to get that sass and the feel behind it. So Sugarcoat, it's one of those songs. The second song off the EP is Lesson Learned. Um, I wrote this one with my guitar player um, back in LA, Taylor Demude. He's a great friend. Um, and I think it just started off with me kind of venting to him um, about a situation I was going through at the time. And then he was just kind of playing around with this little chord progression. And we just kind of, I think we knocked this song out pretty quick because it was just fun and sassy and it just kind of flowed. Um, this one too, I love when the guys usually play this live. We, they love to jam out in that breakdown. So, um, it's just a really fun one for me. Um, so that one is a new song that most people, if you've just started following me, that is a newer song for everybody, um, lesson learned. And then the third song, Now I'm Gone, this one was actually, this is the single that I released a little bit earlier before quarantine happened. Um, and Now I'm Gone is a song that I honestly was a little, hesitant about releasing at first not hesitant because I love this song um so much but because it's so personal I was like I don't want to release it yet I don't want to do it yet um I wrote this one with my professor back in um college his name's Brett McLaughlin um he goes by Leland that is his um songwriter name and he's gone off to do such awesome things he's writing with so many different so many great artists right now um, but we wrote this one forever ago, um, and I kind of just kind of held it, like, you know, I just kind of held on to it for a little while, and it wasn't until I went through a really crappy breakup, um, that I went back to this song, and I was like, I need to re-record, I need to record this, and I need to get this out there, because it just had a, such a deeper meaning at that time. Um, the recorded version, Jason had this idea of just making it really like dramatic with like the, it's kind of poppy and then it just completely just, it has like this cool edgy rock and roll feel to it, which I absolutely love because I have so many rock influences too, um, in a lot of my music, but now I'm gone when we, we, I kind of went back and forth too of shooting a video video like with a story behind it um but we ended up going for that acoustic version of me and the piano in black and white and I just think that that kind of showcased the vocals the lyrics and just kind of showed a different dimension to the song just because I think it's such a big song and I think that that was the way that I wanted to do its justice I know everybody was like Are you sure you want to do that I'm like yes <laughs> and I'm so happy with it um, so yeah, I absolutely love Now I'm Gone. I think that one's, it may be my favorite, personally. 
Um, and then Running Wild is the final song on the EP. I wrote this one with one of my best friends um, and talented musicians, um, Emily Davis and, and Jason as well. Um, but she and I just had a blast kind of writing this. I, I do share a lot of my songwriting ideas with her and she kind of gives me that constructive criticism that a friend or a good songwriter that you co-write with will give you. And um, it was just such a fun melody. Like I feel it was my version of the bro drinking party song. So it's like a fun girls night out type of anthem. Anybody kind of anthem, getting ready, going out, having fun, letting loose, the work week's over, let's party. Um, so that was the idea behind Running Wild. And it's just a feel good song. We shot the video last year um, and that was a blast. So that one's on my YouTube page and all of that. So I really, really hope you guys enjoy the EP and add the songs to your playlist and tag me in them. I would absolutely love to hear what your favorite songs are and I hope that you love them as much as I do. Um, right now with everything going on, of course, I wish I could be playing these live, but I'm glad that technology is letting us do these Instagram lives and all such of, you know, creative ways to get music out there and for us to still interact with listeners, um, which is awesome. It's great to get creative here. Um, that being said, I'm still writing. I'm currently recording slowly. Um, social distancing style too. We are being very cautious. Um, but yeah, the plan is to have new music out there in the fall, hopefully. So fingers crossed and hopefully things will start to ease up soon so we can get on the road hopefully early next year and all of that. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, again, I'm Andrea Vasquez. Be sure to follow me on Instagram or check out my stuff on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you listen to and tag me in your socials. Thank you.